Hello, we want to solve for s and y from this beautiful equation s plus y is equal to 5 and s y is equal to 6 solution. x plus y is equal to 5. Let's call this equation 1. x, y is equal to 6. Let's call this equation 2. Then from equation 1, s is equal to 5 minus y. Let's call this equation 3. Now we want to substitute this equation 3 into this equation 2. Then from equation 2, x, y is equal to 6. Then when x is this, we have 5 minus y bracket y is equal to 6. Let's open the bracket. 5y minus y square is equal to 6. 5y minus y square minus 6 is equal to 0. We can rearrange this. y square minus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using the quadratic general formula. And the quadratic general formula is giving us y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 5, c is equal to 6, y is equal to minus bracket minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 square minus 4 multiply by 1 multiply by 6 over 2 multiply by 1 y is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 square this is 25 minus 4 times 1 4 times 6 24 over 2 times 1, 2. This is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. Then y is equal to 5 plus or minus 1 over 2. Therefore, y is equal to 5 plus 1 over 2 or 5 minus 1 over 2. Then y is equal to 5 plus 1 over 2. That is 6 divided by y is equal to 6 over 2 or 4 over 2. 3 1, 3 3, 3 1, 3 2 y is equal to 3 or 2. Now, let's solve for s since we know the value of y. Since we know the value of y, we can solve for s using either equation 1 or equation 2. But in this case, I'm going to make use of this equation 1. To solve for x, let's consider equation 1. from equation 1 we have s plus y is equal to 5 then when y is equal to 2 we have s plus 2 is equal to 5 s is equal to 5 minus 2 s is equal to 3 
then when y is equal to 3 we have s plus y is equal to 5 s plus 3 is equal to 5 s is equal to 5 minus 3 s is equal to 2 Therefore, our final answers are S is equal to 2, Y is equal to 3, or S is equal to 3, Y is equal to 2. This is the final answer. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.